Here we are. These rat bastards aren't gonna know what f***ing hit them. Yeah! Assuming they're behind all the murders. They've responded pretty poorly to us kicking their door in unannounced. What to do? Mm. So many things I could do. What are you going to do? <laughs> Decisions, decisions. This axe is my favourite. I'm not precious about it. I reckon I could get that little rat boy in the face. Guys, there are no traps in this room, so I don't think I'm going to use my chain yet. These guys are pretty close together. I could weave some magic there. Guys, I'm happy to hit someone with a shield if that's what you need, but the chain's just not going to happen with these boys, okay? Ooh, there's enough of them in a squad over there. I could chuck a bum and sort them out. Can we make sure we're not leaving my axe in any rooms behind us? <laughs> what about this guy? I give him a good move. Move him over there. No, d I need those boys right where they are. Good moving him there, good? Is that good if I give him a little shift? Boys, I'm not gonna waste me bomb if you're just gonna move him out of the fing blast zone. Look, I know this is crazy, but don't kill either of those guys. What do you mean? I'm ready to throw me old precious right in this fing kisser. Trust me, lads, you've got to not kill anyone. Anyone? 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 Oh, well. Anyone? No one. Nobody, Red Boy. Bloody. Demolition Derby, no. No one! Anyone, Hatchet and Clack. Anyone. Anyone. F anyone? Uh, look, you can just go nuts on the stone guy over there. <laughs> well, he might as well be in the next room. He's so far away from me. He's got like a thousand hit points. Right? Just go to town on old mate Reggie Rock <laughs> I'm gonna kill a rat guy. Don't do it. I'm doing it. Don't. I'm doing it now. Don't do it. I'm gonna hit him. Stop it. Let him do it. Stop. Here comes the ex. I can see that. I'm doing it. Do the opposite. Oh, no, let him throw it. No. Let him do it. I'm gonna do it. Stop it. Just let him throw his axe. Here comes the ex. Put it down. Oh, it's going up. You're not listening to me. You're being crazy. Let him throw his axe. It's going up. Naughty. Let him do it. Ah. <laughs> Gloomhaven. Throw axes at rat people. Explode blood clots into a fine red mist, much to the chagrin of rat people. Make cultists attack their allies, which happen to be rat people. Have it your way, baby. Also, you're poisoned. Gloomhaven's expansion slash retraction slash prequel slash sequel slash EU party pack mega fun time second edition slash real life DLC who lets you take it home only to grab you by the collar and say, I am a cold hard bitch and I will devour your f face while you beg me for more. Hello there. We are a couple of game lords and we are drinking lion's teeth. A twist on the lion's tail with a gloomhaven <laughs> it's, it's dirt water. <laughs> You're just gonna, how many ways can you talk around this? We've created what looks like sewage, and now we're going to drink it. It's awful. Oh? Huh? You like it, do you? It's, it has the spices. What do you call it? Dram. Dram. I mean, that's just... Drek. Cinnamon, isn't it? Yeah, it's the cinnamon is overpowering. Oh, wow. It's just too much of this shit in there. It's there, but you know, like, just tequila and lime juice is great. Yeah. So you're saying, so your you're addendum to lion's teeth, drink tequila and lime juice. Don't complicate things, guys. Yeah. Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion, a cooperative game for up to four players. Playtime generally two to three hours per campaign. Some complex mechanics with a strong tutorial. Indeed. Gloomhaven. I was initially really smitten by this. Would you recommend this? If you have a group of people who get into games, who are into it, and who can meet regularly, I would recommend it highly. Awesome. Yes. Let's break it down. <laughs> <laughs> the face, the shape your face just made at me. Yeah, yeah, you did that, and then looked at me as though you wanted me to say something. You I like, probably did. It has a strong unboxing game. It does. Opening oh. this, yeah. It's like Christmas. It really is. Not Everything is new. There's so many little boxies that are like timed releases. Oh my God. Every character has yep. its own box. Everyone has their own unique decks. Mm -hmm. The campaign has more boxes that you open as you progress your yep. level through the game. It's endless and it all fits in here, in here. which is crazy. Not I often we'll bring up the price of games, but considering what you get, it's really well priced, mm. especially when you weigh it against the other Gloomhaven. Gloomhaven. 
There are four characters that you can play as. But initially, all you have to go off is their logo. You basically have to lay them all out and be like, all right, which logo of these do we like the best? Because we don't know the names, we don't know their classes, we don't know what they do. It's staged too. Like they stagger what you open so that you're not overwhelmed. You know, it's, it's like if Gloomhaven is f***ing. I knew it. <laughs> as soon as you did this, <laughs> as soon as you did this, I was like, he's going to do He. If we <laughs> edit this out, but he works f***ing into every review. If Gloomhaven is a f***ing. Thing. Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion is it, it starts with a <laughs> and it <laughs> your <laughs> flowering moment. It's great. Yeah, I it's, love it. It's good. It eases you in to the mechanics you're about to play at length really well. Yeah. So in a typical game of Gloomhaven, you and up to three mates will embark on a campaign. Your objective could be anything for that campaign, but it's usually just kill every other living thing on the map. And you do this by playing a set of character specific action cards, which you get more of as you level up. Is it safe to say that each sort of campaign is kind of like the fighting parts of any D&D campaign? You've done all your story bits, now you're in the cave, do the thing. That is a really good way because to put it. Because you do jump out of each of campaign and you go back to the town yeah, and, um, and do some shopping and that kind of thing. Yeah. And side missions, which are just bo boiled down to a binary choice. Do you want to do this or this? Yeah. And various outcomes. So what do we like? It just builds such a strong world off the bat. Things like finding out the, the map. You have to take a sticker and put it on the map and be like, oh, we've opened this location. It really takes its cues from video games in that respect it too. It does. I have not played a game where you continue a character. Each session, you are picking up your old character sheet and each of the characters play different, so yeah. differently. You do discover pretty early on your character has strengths. Yeah. And if you try not to play to those strengths and play against them, you will be punished horribly. To yeah. be perfectly honest with you all, this might turn into a review just on adding dram <laughs> <laughs> to cocktails because so many regrets. Yeah, it's garbage. You have to be into it. I don't know who's into it. It is like a video game because as you complete the campaign, you're revealing all these areas that are specific to the story that you... And it is one full story. It has a lot in it. Oh, yeah. It is like a D&D &D campaign and the map is there purely to show you and give you um, context. I love it. Mm. There's also the perk system. I remember the amount of gasps and noises coming out of you. Yes. As you discovered that, you know, you get to upgrade and choose perks, which will upgrade your attack. You feel like you're in control of your character's building process. You get them perk points. Which get them are, perk points! I like crack to some people. It's so good! Oh, yeah. When you drank, there is just so... It looks like mud at the it's bottom of the cup. It's just... It is... We've created terrariums. It is mud, but it tastes all right. All right I'm well, okay with it. You're welcome It's a little mine. spicy. Yeah. The addition of a book is huge. <clears throat> it's the bloody drink. <laughs> Each mission has... <coughs> <laughs> Each mission has unique artwork. Mm -hmm. And, and it, it makes the setup easier. This goes here, these goes so much here. More, they have so much more creative freedom too to create campaigns that don't have to be affixed to these tiles anymore. Yeah. They can just create a book and be like, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I also like the XP system. Yeah. Because rather than just give you blanket XP for killing monsters, you actually get XP for playing the game. Playing certain cards, choosing yeah. certain actions, for playing a certain way. So they sort of... <laughs> just mine, take the whole Mine is literally thing. just mud now, so I'm just I, gonna... Yeah, are you gonna decant? I'm just gonna water mine. Look at that, it looks, it looks like reading tea leaves. You could look at the bottom of it ah, and work out yes. what's gonna happen to you. <laughs> I see much pain in your future. <laughs> it's probably because you're about to drink a sh drink. But when it's liquid, it's nice. What a thing to have to say about a drink. I put nice. less dram in than it asks for dram. Maybe you meant to dilute it. I, I actually know. think that's what it's supposed to taste like. Spicy dram drank. It's shit. <laughs> so the XP system will reward you for actually playing the game. It's a really clever way of making you play a certain way. And I know that sounds like a negative, but mm. if you are the axe man, you should be throwing your axe. So <laughs> it doesn't reward you with XP for getting in close and killing something. Yeah. It rewards you for using these special moves that force you to play a certain style. And because there's four characters, it encourages teamwork. Let's push into what we don't like about right. Gloomhaven. As much as I like it, 
you do, it, it is starting to get a, oh God, I need to give Gloomhaven another four hours. Yeah. It's like a video game. All the good parts about video games, yes. Mm. But all the bad parts that I find about video games is if I don't play it all the time, I forget how to play it. Yeah. And I can't be yeah. anymore. And this is very close to being Hollow Knight for me. Yeah. If you leave it for longer than a couple of weeks, you will open the box and all throughout that you'll be like, how do, wait, what do yeah. I, how do I do this again? Well, it's supposed guess. to be the only game you're playing until you finish it. Yeah, That's... and it's supposed to be the only thing you're doing until you finish <laughs> it. You can't play it casually. You just can't. You can't. If you, you start playing it with four people, you have, <laughs> you have to keep playing it. You guys better be all on the same schedule. This is a campaign and I love that about it. Yeah. But it is the, the, uh, the what's gonna sort out the wheat from the chaff. Yeah. What, is, what is that? Well, what's Say, chaff? With a, when, you, when you're sorting the wheat, wheat from the from chaff. chaff. Or the, what is that phrase? Am I saying it right? It's chaff. I always say chaffy. When you're sorting out the types of people who <laughs> like this or do not like this, oh. this, is the, this is the one. You'd this be is like, the one. yes, or I don't want that. Yeah. But some people want this and I know who they are. Put some f***ing Ikea pencils in this box. Oh, yeah. You f***s. Those tiny little pencils. You need four of them. Yeah. And you just whack it in the box. Yeah. They expect you to bring your own pencils. pencils. You start writing with pen and you realize, oh, shit. Yeah. This, I need pencils. <laughs> just put them in the box. Really? You got so much other stuff in here. <laughs> Wait one minute. Here we go. Yeah. Poison. First... Tell me what you expect poison to do. You would assume poison would, you would get poisoned and then you would probably reduce one hit point every turn until you cure the poison. That would be canon. Every game ever. That would be every game ever. Pokemon is your litmus test. If you're not doing Pokemon, you're doing it wrong. All attackers gain one plus attack on you. It prevents healing and it's removed when healed. How yeah. do you even heal if it prevents healing? What? That's another point. <laughs> no, I mean... So basically, poisoned does nothing until I attack you again and then you'll do one extra damage. Damage, yeah. Hate that. It makes no sense thematically. What would you expect being wounded might be? That's not in Pokemon. I suppose wounded would again, yeah, it would be like you take more damage. If you hurt. If because you get it's hurt. like poking a wound. You're wounded. Wound. Suffer one damage at the start of each turn. Remove when healed. Yeah, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. They just switch the two. I would recommend switching it from the beginning just so you're not angry all the time. That is a significant flaw for me on a foundational level. Really? Yes, I hate it yeah, so it, much. This is a real personal thing. It's not personal. For you. It's well, not it personal. Matter. It's just a bit of a... It makes no sense. It makes no sense. If I get poisoned in real life, let me just go on this journey. No, this is important that you go on this journey. If I get poisoned in real life, if I sit still on the couch, I'm still going to die. Yeah. I'm not going to, like, wait, like, if someone hurts my leg, then hurt I'm more. more oh, pain. no, don't, I'm poisoned. <laughs> oh, this is going to do irreparable damage to me. That's not how it f***ing works. Yeah, I agree. In real life, let alone video game life or board game life, so I think they've fundamentally f***ed it and they've just gone, we have to commit f*** Stephen. Stephen was supposed to proof check all the goddamn yeah. attributes. Yeah, he hasn't he done it. it. Stephen's ruined life for everyone who's nice going to play Stephen. Gloomhaven forever. Yeah. They're going to dig this up in the hundred years and be like, this game is so good. Except what the f*** Stephen thinks. <laughs> <laughs> he will be marked down in the annals of history as the person that single-handedly f***ed. Gloomhaven up a yeah. bit in a way that's fine with me, but if you're okay with fundamentally going against all common sense when it comes to poison versus wound, this game's for you. If not, give it a miss. <laughs> <laughs> the gold tokens. When a monster drops a gold token, <laughs> all your all your negative things are like. No, <laughs> Stephen, proofread your. <laughs> if a gold token that a monster drops is worth two in every campaign, why the have you written number one on it? Why is it a silver token with one is worth two gold? That is a huge... That's both wrong. That's you just, both counts wrong. I mean, wrong. I hadn't even thought about that, but that's inflamed me. <laughs> I am...
I'm gonna drink He's more dirt. In, all right, drink the dirt. He's inflamed. Steven, you've inflamed him. Maz is inflamed. Fix that. What edition is this? This is first second edition, edition of is normal for, Gloomhaven. Yeah, I suppose this is like an edition. But maybe edition. that's the thing is they wanted to make it um, compatible with normal Gloomhaven. So maybe they had to keep some of the stuff. <sighs> they should just patch the whole shit from the beginning. Mm, be hard to patch. It's huge. Start again. Call it Gloomhaven 2. <laughs> and then it's Frosthaven. <laughs> and it's a gold coin as the two. <laughs> as like as their pa- major fix. That's and the major patch. There's a gold coin and then just the wounded and poisoned thing all resolved on the yeah. box. So they're like, yeah. we did it. It's called Gloomhaven 2. Poison is poison. <laughs> <laughs> F- um, Do you have anything you didn't like? Um, yeah, I mean, I think mine are sort of overarching things. It comes back to that... It's a big investment. This is like indefinitely going to rule your life. There's boxes as well. The way it's set up, you'll be like, I'm tormented. I open the <laughs> thing and there's boxes that I'm like, I can't find out what's in there unless I pour more time into this. Yeah. And this has just gotten yoga on Saturdays, so we can't do it on Saturdays. When yeah. are we going to be able to play Gloomhaven, yeah. Damien? When are we going to play it? Fucking Damien. Damien sucks. So, we got quite negative at the end there. In summary, Game Lord seal of approval or not? <laughs> I think despite, look. Hmm. Where, I mean, but. I'm thinking about it because there are times, it's, it's really tough. It's really complicated. For me, this isn't the game for me. But anyone who loves a D&D campaign, anyone who does get invested in your character and the story that you're playing and you're happy to invest and mm-hmm. come back to over and over again. Find three other friends, split it with them four ways, talk about the fact that we are going to play this, this every week. consistently every week and you'll be rewarded oh, immensely. God. Game Lord approved? Oh, hugely, hugely approved. Just make sure that you can commit to what it's asking you to commit to. Hoo-ha! Oh, you four cheeky bum-bums are never going to stop Rowland's master plan! <laughs> Boys? Who wants to do what? Oh, I guess I could maybe... Yeah, I got my good axe. Give him a move. I could chuck a bomb in there. Well, how many are there in here? Well, let me hit... Oh. Look, I'm worried about the blood guy. Give us... Don't I look nice with my hair? Mate! No, I'll... stop it. I'll give us a shot at him. Stop it. I don't care that he's the boss. I don't need this. I don't care. I don't have any well, cards I'm left either. Too. If you don't no do this, this, I'm this character. Can I speak? Dead corpse. <laughs> 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 <laughs>